To calculate the Gini impurity for Love's popcorn, we start by calculating the Gini impurity for the individual leaves. The Gini impurity for the one leaf is 1 minus the probability of yes squared minus the probability of no squared. So we start out with 1. Then we subtract the squared probability of someone in this leaf loving cool as ice, which is 1 divided by the total number of people in the leaf 4, and then the whole term is squared. Lastly, we subtract the squared probability of someone in this leaf not loving cool as ice, which is 3, the number of people in the leaf who did not love it, divided by the total number of people in the leaf squared. The result of Gini impurity is 0 0.375. Now let's calculate Gini impurity for the right leaf. We subtract the squared probability of yes and the squared probability of no from 1. It is 0 0.444. As we see, the leaves do not represent the same number of people. Thus, the total Gini impurity is the weighted average of the leaf impurities. The weight for the left leaf is the total number of people in the leaf, 4, divided by the total number of people on both leaves, 7. Then we multiply that weight by its Gini impurity 0.375. We add the weighted impurity for the leaf on the right, which is the total number of people in the leaf, 3, divided by the total number of people in both leaves, 7, times the associated Gini impurity, 0.444. The result, the genie impurity for Love's popcorn, is 0.405. Likewise, the genie impurity for Love soda is 0.214. To calculate the genie impurity for age, we first sort the rows by age, and then we calculate the average age. Likewise, we calculate the genie impurity for all the other values. These two thresholds are tied for the lowest impurity, 0.343. So we can pick any, and in this case, we'll pick 15. Now we have the Gini impurity values for Love's popcorn, Love soda and age. Soda has the lowest Gini impurity overall, so we put it at the top of the tree. The node on the left is impure. Three of these people love cool as ice, and one does not. To reduce the impurity by splitting the people that love soda, based on their love of popcorn or age, we will ask if the four people that love soda also love popcorn. Let's calculate for the subgroup from the left leaf. The total Gini impurity for Love's popcorn split is 0.25. We only use the ages of people loving soda. Age less than 12.5 gives us the lowest impurity, 0. So we use this age to split this node into leaves. After that we assign output values for each leaf. Now if someone new comes, and we want to predict if they will love cool as ice, we run the data down our tree. They love soda, so they go to the left. They are 15 so less than 12.5 is false. They end up in this leaf, and we predict that they will love cool as ice. Important technical detail. Because only one person made it to this leaf, it's hard to have confidence, this leaf is good for predictions with future data. We could have a problem called overfit the data. To deal with it we can put limits on how trees grow, for example, by three or more people per leaf. Even when a leaf is impure, we still need an output value to make a classification, in this case, Love cool as ice is output value. When we build a tree, we don't know in advance if it is an optimal number of people per leaf, or some other number. So we use cross-validation to pick the value that works best. That is all I wanted to tell you about classification trees and genie impurity. Thank you for watching this set of AI-supported short e-learning videos.